Um, so here is the bike. Even if it's like going away for like a night, you still have to pack everything because you know, like it's still a night and you need all this stuff. So, um, spit in a tube, jandals, sleep, uh, tent, cooker with um, my pot, you know. Um, in this frame bag, I have food mainly and my pump and like a few tools for the bike. And then this is just my little kind of like top bag and I just have lip balm, AirPods, phone, stuff. And then my um, handlebar bag, we've got the sleeping bag inside, I've got my bed roll, I've got a towel and just a couple of things like clothes and a jacket. So yeah, it's just like, um, it's a fully loaded bike just for one night because I need my stuff. Um, taking my camel back and that has like two litres of water in it because I just want lots of fresh water. So yeah. Um, my dream machine. We have Maymorn Station and then we kind of ride through Tunnel Gully up to the entrance to the Rimataka Incline and then take the rail trail. Yay fun! Cross Creek. That's like 25 k's and then I'm going to take the 37 kilometres down to Ocean Beach and stay at the campsite, which I'm really looking forward to, just tenting. The next day, it's 18 k's out to the Orongoronga station, and then I am going to ride home. So I'm just going to go up through Wainui on the roads to the hut, and then back down to Wellington. And that's like, oh, I don't know, like 35 to 40 k's or something. So all in all, it's kind of like over just over 60 k's per day, which is fine. And I have my fully loaded bike and yeah, I'm just really looking forward to it. time so I just got my head torch ready to go yeah good old egg toasty it's like my power food oh I just oh, so good Mm. Yum. to be on the bike. Oh, this is so nice. Whew. I think I've got like 15 kilometers or so to the summit, then a few more down to Cross Creek. Um, I don't actually Strava. <laughs> I don't sort of track my progress too closely, but I have an idea of the mileage and I just like to pedal along. This trail's sort of good for that. It's pretty chill. Um, yeah, so having a good day, pedaling along. This is awesome.
the Rimutaka range is attributed to the ancestor Hoanui Anania. Māori oral history records that Hoanui travelled around the lower north island of New Zealand, naming many of the rivers, mountains and other natural features. And when he scaled this particular mountain range, he stopped near the summit to rest and declared the entire range the Rimutaka, which loosely translated means to sit down. It's kind of lovely. So I reached the summit and had a look at some of the old sort of railway up here. It's a really interesting place and it's like kind of cruisy down to Cross Creek. Um, there is just 7 k's to go and there's a tunnel up ahead um, which I'm kind of looking forward to. It's kind of cool. And then we'll just head on down. Cool. So I've gotten to the Siberia Bridge. Awesome. I haven't actually done this bridge yet. Um, last time I did the rail trail was years ago and you actually took the trail, I think, um, off there and kind of went round through the gully. Although it looks a little bit sketchy. There's been some slips. I'm not sure. Yeah. So um, yeah, apparently the bridge takes off like 15 to 20 minutes worth of riding. You can just cut straight across. Cool. and um, landscaping stuff around. I'm sorry, I really don't actually know what it's called. <laughs> it's just like lots of concrete. So yeah, just having a little kind of look through here. Oh, here we are. What's this? It's running along this. I've got to say, um, as far as long drops go, um, this one was quite pleasant. It had this lovely lemon scented kind of aroma. It was actually very pleasant. So there you go, Cross Creek um, end uh, long drop. Thanks, Doc. So um, I just noticed, look. No jandals, no inner tube. They must have like fallen off. 
somewhere so I'm gonna have to go like back up the track and look for a while to see um, if I can find my jandals and my inner tube I really like those jandals they're really good jandals and I kind of wanted them for camping so somewhere along the way they fell off hopefully close by where there was a bumpy bit that I did maybe they popped off there oh god so anyway I'm gonna go see if I can find my jandals there's one I just rode back up the track for a few minutes. I was like looking for stuff, thinking the tube bag is bright pink. It'll s oh look, I'll see it. Look, there's one up there. Oh, I've got my jandals. Yes. God knows where the tube bag is though. Oh, okay. That could have fallen off way back. I don't know. Do I keep looking? Got it. Um, so there's a couple on e-bikes who have been sort of following me down and they found it and I got it back so I've got all my stuff yay um, thank you for finding my stuff so I'm gonna secure it back on the bike properly and then I uh, will just continue on do you reckon that's like enough I don't know oh god it's probably not okay I'm just gonna like rearrange things and get on my way my battery's running a bit low so I won't film for an hour and then when I get onto the road down to Ocean Beach I will resume filming to just make the use of the last bit of battery okay so I've made it out onto the road and as you can see um, the sign uh, Rimataka cycle trail so I'm just gonna head that way out to Ocean Beach and um, yeah it's just a long uh, 37k road ride so we just kind of head that away and um, we eventually end up on the coast we I I will eventually end up on the coast where I can like enjoy the beach and set up my tent and like yeah just relax really um, fingers crossed it's not a headwind at the moment it's pretty good it's like 1:30, so I'm thinking a couple of hours if I take my time and then I'll be there at the beach and I can just like go for a walk and enjoy the sights and find a nice spot to pitch my tent and play some music and that kind of thing. So yeah, I'll take a couple of little videos of the road ride so you can kind of get a feel for what it's like. busy down at the entrance so I've kind of come up this area um, just looking for like a quiet spot because oh, it's just my thing I don't like busy campsites and I don't like lots of noise so I tend to find chill spots I mean there's like for example like that little area in there it could be really nice you know but then if someone comes and parks across from me it's kind of could not be nice I don't know it's oh, I always have this thing when I go to campsites, finding a really nice spot. So I'm just going to have a bit of a bike around, choose somewhere and just kind of set up. Um, 
it's just on four o'clock so I've got plenty of time I can enjoy the sun for a bit longer and yeah just uh, settle in over half an hour to get the t uh, tent pitched and uh, bags unpacked so I will give you a little tour of my spot so um, we're just in here so I've got the bike in there now, just locked onto our tree just a little cable lock I mean this place is safe but it sort of gives you peace of mind just knowing that things are just kind of locked you know like it's just cool um, tent now the guy ropes off a clothes lineage so I can hang my stuff this afternoon and air it out. Just got it tied to a tree. It's kind of cool. Um, and yeah, I tend to just, in this vestibule, I tend to just store stuff I'm going to need, like cooking stuff and just my helmet and like, well, actually, just my head torch that's in the helmet. Um, and then, okay, so it's kind of. It's like, I should have actually probably just bought my one person tent for this trip. But I just love a nice roomy tent. It's just comfortable. It's just you've got space and you can give yourself a little like wash down and you've just got space. So I'm like, oh, just take the two person tent. It's really roomy. Um, as you can see, it's like, this is my sleeping bag. There's space here for stuff. Um, and through that vestibule, I've got all my other stuff. I just keep it out of the way. All my bags that I won't be using until tomorrow um, are through there. And yeah, so I've just got my bed and I am sleeping on the Sea to Summit lovely um, Ether Light XT. So it's insulated and it's also really cushy. Like we're talking kind of like, you know, um, at least kind of 10 to 15, if not more centimetres. Um, and so it's one of the most comfortable, compact bed rolls I've come across so I kind of just invested in it and I bought it and it really has like paid off because it like condenses down to almost the size of a drink bottle and then you blow it up and it's like it's just really really cushy and nice um I've got a really big thick <laughs> it's like 700 loft sleeping bag simply because um I get cold, I feel the cold, and I just like to know that I've got something really warm to keep me warm, just in those early hours in the morning when it gets like pretty chilly in a place like this. So I'm like, oh, just bring your full on sleeping bag, and I can always peel it back if I get hot. So yeah, this is like my little abode for the night. Um, I'll sort out a homemade makeshift pillow to sleep on, and because it's 4.30, I'm going to go for a wander down to the beach have a look at things and then maybe come back to cook some dinner in a bit. about an hour so since I got up at 7 30 so 8 30 I was kind of ready to go um, and then I've just been getting some water and brushing my teeth and stuff and it's nearly nine nearly nine o'clock and I'm just gonna head around the coast so we've got wild coast track um, we're going out to the coast road car park which is approximately 14 kilometers apparently takes five hours I think that's if you're walking as I'm riding so it'll probably take maybe like two and a half hours um, to get out there before I get to the Arongaronga station so it's going to be pretty awesome it's a bit windy but we'll just see how we go and yeah
having breakfast um, in this lovely spot just out on the coast here just found a little kind of mossy sort of mound to sit upon and yeah I tend to have a cup of tea pack up get riding and then find like a nice spot to have breakfast because I would never normally have breakfast in a place like this that is beautiful so um, I'm gonna have breakfast and I've got take a seat I have lovely homemade muesli made by my partner Ben with like grains like oats seeds honey and I've added dried fruit and um, like apricot raisins and prunes so yum so check this out this is the muesli and I kind of soak it in a bit of warm water to soften it up and it's just delicious and I just I just love I just love all my whole foods while I'm traveling just lots of grains and nuts and dried fruit and things so I'm gonna enjoy this with a beautiful view reached Turakere Scenic Reserve, oh it says Scientific Reserve actually on their sign, and I think I've already passed the seal colony. I think the trail left the main trail and like there's this little section down by the beach where the seal colony is and I'm like but I want to see the fur babies. I don't think it's here leads to Wainui. I'm nearly at the Arongaronga River, I think, and then it's like a car park, and oh, I'm pretty sure it's back that way. So I'm kind of like, well, I've got time, it's half 11, I'm feeling pretty perky, and I want to see my fur babies. So I think I might just go back and like look for the seal colony. I'm leaving the bike there because I've been traipsing across rocks and I can't be bothered pushing it anymore. So I'm just gonna walk along a bit further and see. There's just no clear. I mean, you've got this whole coast. <laughs> yeah, where the seals might be. I'm not sure where the seals are. Hmm. So I'll just walk around. And then um, hopefully we'll spot some. Hey, so um, I have finished the Rimutaka cycle trail um with the off-road parts of it and yeah wow so like as you can see behind me it's now 80k sealed road uh, which will take me to Wainui which will take me to Adiri so I can get like a cold fizzy drink 
it's like I'm constantly like thinking about the cold fizzy drink it's like I'm daydreaming about it oh it's gonna be so nice when I get there I think I've got a fair way it's really hot and it's really sunny I've got like yeah a fair way to get to Wainui um oh god and it's just hard because roads are kind of relentless anywho it's kind of been a beautiful journey um I could not find the seals I couldn't find them oh I looked and looked and I'm thinking maybe in, it's winter when they come in to sort of um, sun themselves, I'm not sure, but it's okay, um, here's a picture of one. Wainui Hill, Whew, it was just extremely hot going up there, Whew, it just makes it harder and I'm just, I'm getting really tired Whew, I've still got a wee way to go, I basically have to go down this hill across to Petoni Esplanade and then right around the Esplanade down the coast, down the motorway to my home over there um, so I'm thinking it's like 15 kilometres maybe haven't checked but I'll just oh, do it. Another bonus is um, my phone. I, I got coverage on my phone just earlier back down Wainui Coast Road. I haven't actually had any coverage for like a day and a half and I didn't realise I wouldn't have any so it was nice to be able to let my partner know that I'm okay and just like get back into the mainframe. So yeah let's uh, make it home. I did the big hill, I rode the road, 
and I'm home I'm surrounded in my beautiful garden and my animals and I'm back with Ben and it was just a lovely trip so thank you to my wonderful bike um, and it's just a great adventure so thank you so much for watching Thank you.